diabolic. And you could do anything as long as it is devilish. And you have. He struck my boss with madness and burnt down his two shops <laughs> just because he challenged you. Now what have you gained, evil man? Okay. My God will punish you for all your evil deeds to this innocent man. Really? Look, look at me properly. I am not afraid of you. You cannot do anything to me. Evil man. My God will punish you beyond human recognition. Rubbish. Um, hold on a minute, young lady. Young lady, listen to me. My name is Donald. Tell your boss. I'm not done with him yet. I'm in Genesis. Everywhere is shaking. When I'm done with him, he will know the difference. Don't forget to tell him that you met Donald. Useless mother. <laughs> Hmm. It's very obvious that what is happening to me now is no longer ordinary. Everything around me is now crumbling. I mean, who could be responsible for all the misfortune that I'm passing through? Who? How do I explain to anyone that within one month, just one month, all my investments have collapsed? Yeah? Now my only hope of survival is my, my, my shipment, my consignment, the goods on the high sea. I, I, I even used my house here as a collateral to get loan from the bank to, to, to do that business. Hey God, God are you up there, are you up there and watching all these things happen to me? Eh? Hmm. Even sleep is far from me now. Yes, and Mr. Kelvin. Oh, okay. Yes, um, your boss was saying something about the food. Yes, he... I came here to take five minutes. So what is the response? But well, we woke up this morning with a very terrible news that the goods we were expecting from the ICU is coming. Of course. What do you mean? There will be ship at issues and sank. So everything will be established.
our land who will be very much rejected. Amen. You are very welcome. Thank you very much. Okay, sit down. Sit down. Hey. So generous. There is no time you go to him for any assistance that he will not help you. This is the young man that has just relocated to this village because everything he has just crashed. The same thing that happened to his uncle Livinus, who came back here from the city empty handed. I don't think so. When Livinus returned to this village, he claimed that it was his nephew, Kevin, that sent him home. But knowing the type of person Livinus is, and the, the atrocities that he has committed in this village, I swear his hand must be on what brought this young man home. That is a huge one. But you might be right. Because Livinus is capable of anything. But you see, don't go about saying it to anybody. Because at this stands now, this is but a mere insinuation. Well, <coughs> let's watch and see. I thought they were calling themselves citizens. Huh? What are they still doing here in the village? <laughs> I told them, I told them, when the wood insects begin to gather firewood on its head, it carries them. <laughs> Welcome back to the village, my dear little nephew. Was I supposed to be the only one returning to the village empty hand? <laughs>
the devil be father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Our Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Let us have our morning and the best of your food of heaven, Jesus. So good to have you here. So nice. I really appreciate it. <laughs> this is a very good wine. You people in the city know very good there. You see, I have never tasted this type of wine before. It's good. That's why I went into my selected this one, especially for you. Thank you very much. It's sweet. Kidding uh, myself. I have come to discuss something very important with you. You see, you are late father. I'm one of the people in this land he had so much confidence in. And that's why I always feel concerned about you. Now, certain village, you have to find things that will suit you and your family. That's not a good feeling, criminal. You're right, Chief. And I, like I said, you are one of the very few people who actually have involved in my family. And my father is quite close to my father before. Um, uh, I've been thinking of it. I've been thinking of what I can do to sustain my family. Well, you can see how I can do this. And we are going for it. Family. At least with that, you can be sure that what to eat will never lack in your house. Good thing. Your family has a lot of fun lands in this community. And your uncle Livinus is in charge of this hotel. You will have to approach him to release some of your father's lands in his position to you so that you can stand up. Um, actually, oh, oh. Thank you very much. Uh, Good. <laughs> you need to be very careful with that uncle of yours. I'm sure that you must have heard what he is doing in this village. Well, to be honest with you, I don't know. It's really this hard. In fact, I find it difficult. But like you said, I'll be very good. Great. Thank you very much. This is for you. Okay, thank you. Your people in the city look sweet sweet thing. This one sweet. So you are welcome, my nephew. <laughs> to what do I owe this visit? Well, um. Uh, From the look of things, it's obvious uh, we are back to the village for good. We have come back to stay. So, I've been thinking of what my wife and I can do. Well, we can make it our daily bread. 
I came up with fun. Mm. So I decided to come see, come to you, see if you can release some of uh, Papa's land in uh, your possession, so I can start from there. That was very good. <laughs> That's a nice one. Um, yes, yes, yes. Um, I have been thinking in that line with you. It is good. It's good. In fact, farming is the one thing that has been sustaining a lot of families in this country. Hmm? I will give you land to farm as you requested. But you have to wait. Um, you know, some of the farmlands have given out. You see, when I came back to the village, things were very, very hard. So I depended on these farmlands to survive. Hmm? So I leased them out. Um, but I will get some of the lands back from the people I leased them to for your sake. Okay. All right, all right. No problem. No problem. You'll get it. Okay. Let me. Let me. All right. Uh, send me word to your wife and your daughter. Hmm? Uh -huh. yes. If you need anything, just call back on me. Huh? Yes. Thank you. I made this boy's joking. Mm -hmm. So he came back to this village to drive the family farmland with me. <laughs> oh, oh. <sighs> <sighs> when the wood insects gather firewood, on its head it carries it. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what to do. 
but you pay pain all over my body. I swear to you. I don't understand. Well, you were okay yesterday night. Yeah, I don't mean, know. Oh, the pain is too much. Good. What is all this now? My nephew. What, what's, what, what's wrong with him? He woke up this morning with a strange illness. Oh, because I am talking to you now. He is dying. My husband is dying. Strange illness? Yeah. How come? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, where, where are you running to now? I want to get to the chemist to see if I can get some drugs for him. Ah. Where the wood is set, can I fire wood? When it's wet, it's very still. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
courageous and strong. Take care, my daughter. Cause of our land. Do not let anything happen to this young man. He is the kind of son the community needs. If we have four of his kind in this, this land, my husband is dying. I mean, he is not getting any better. Stop crying, my dear. Stop crying. Or you make me cry too. Huh? Look, nothing is going to happen to your husband, my nephew. Huh? The gods of our land will not allow anything to happen to him. Alright? He will not die. Amen. He will not die. Huh? Amen. Stop crying. Let me go inside and get food for you. I came to get food.
Son, yes, but let him go and leave us alone. Let's not digress from the purpose of this meeting into something unnecessary. My late friend's wife and daughter are still here, so I can't just leave like that. How dare you talk when I'm talking? Huh? You think this is the city where you can talk and do anyhow? Nivi knows. Please take it easy. Please leave the young man alone. He has committed no offense being here with us. Ah, you don't know, you don't know. In fact, they are the people who sent me back to the village from the city. Says who? Says I! I say so. Yes. But don't worry. I will deal with you. I will deal with you. When the wooden insects gathers for a wood, on its head, it carries them. Please, let's not forget the reason for this meeting. Uncle, if you know he definitely don't know what he's saying. What? What do you say? You say I don't know what I'm saying? They don't have fire your mouth, burn your mouth 25 times! It is the father of the Uncle, 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 We don't need all this now. We have come here for a purpose. Huh? All this quarreling and wrangling will help us. Uh, uh, please, 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 my elders. Uh, Uncle Levinus, please, no matter what, let us sit our sword for the sake of peace. Let us not digress from the purpose of this meeting. All these insults, shouting and all, will not lead us anywhere. Huh? And let me sound this note of warning. We are all Christians. Let us be mindful of what we say. So we will not bring the wrath of God upon ourselves. Very important. I have only one appeal to make here. That my friend's wife and daughter goes back to the city. Huh? This village is no more safe for them. What an abomination! Have you ever heard that a woman whose husband has just been committed to Mother Earth just goes back to the city barely four days after? Elders, are you listening to this idiot? Eh? Are you listening to this non-entity? It's okay, it's okay. <clears throat> My son. We appreciate your love and concern for your late friend's family. 
But you see, we have a culture and tradition. Laura here will have to stay for at least one year to mourn her late husband before she can leave this, this village. Or maybe six months each year. But not immediately as we are suggesting, my son. Hmm? Don't mind this criminal. Oh, so that is your plan, eh? You have a plan. So you killed you killed my nephew so that you can inherit the wife. Jesus! Huh? Uncle! Is that your plan? Can listen to this person? That's what you're planning, eh? Eh? You idiot! You imbecile! Uncle, please. Please. Hey. Oh dear, well. Hey. Hey. Thank God we have a favor that today. Yeah. <laughs> hey. It's unfortunate that things turned out this way. Heaven knows that if I have my way, Laura and Jesse will not stay in this village. This place isn't safe anymore. Look at what they did to Kevin. Ah, this team is okay. But Jesse and Laura will be fine. You remember what the elders say. Maybe after her money period, she may return to the city, as you suggested. But thank you very much for being there for them. They are a good friend indeed. May the good Lord bless you upon them. And may you be the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you. They are a good friend. Amen. Still, God bless you. We are very grateful. You are a friend indeed. God bless you. Yeah? Uncle, I'll miss you. I hope you come back soon. Sure, I'll show up. You and your mother are part of it. Especially now that your father is living. Father. <laughs> Lord, please take her inside. Let me see him off. Thank you very much. Eh? Uh -uh.
this compound to do. But for now, we'll have to go to bed. It's already late. He has done now. Just six months after mourning her husband, she joins him. Does it look ordinary? Eh? Okay, look at that young man called Sidney. See how he died in an accident because The whole world knows that living is a very bad and dangerous man. We also know all the people have skin in this land since he came. But the chief, to link him up to the death of his nephew and the wife is the one I don't know about. I don't know about that one. Well, all I know is that the evil that men do lives with them. For every evil that the demons have committed in this village, he must live to pay for it and suffer. I'm free. Thank you. 
My very eyes, my only brother, Calvin died mysteriously. On the day his wife completed her six months of money period, she died. Who did we offend? Please, before it becomes another case of I am sorry, let's take my place here. Punish. Come, and you didn't even bother to tell me about it. Huh? Or at least seek my consent as the eldest of the family. Huh? something fast. Huh? You know my target is to wipe away the entire Kelvin's family. Huh? Uh, and now the, the small girl is, is, has been taken away. I, I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> don't be worried. Don't be worried. You won't get a has solution to everything. Are you doubting me? You won't know. Of course not. Huh? Are you not the one who made me the strong and mighty man that I am in this community? I am, I am, giving me the ultimate power to destroy anybody who stands on my way. I am, I am, Markety, Markety, you are the, the youngest, the strongest, and the biggest and the wisest chief priest in all this area and beyond. Okay, 
Since I came back from the city, I came back with anger in my heart. I wanted my pound of flesh on my nephew Kelvin. Because I thought he was the one who told his friends to chuck me out of my shop. Abomination. I was filled with vengeance. Vengeance was in my heart. It was that vengeance that led me to the shrine of that young blessing. Living is the great son of Chilaka. I saw that you returned from the city empty handed and sad. Your heart is bitter and you seek vengeance. Yes. Great and the youngest seer of our land. Oh, gosh, you mean? I want to deal with that boy called Kelvin. Hiding behind his friends to send me out of my shop. Hmm. As I speak with you now, some of my things are still outside the shop, being beaten by the rain and by the sun. <sighs> I want that boy to crash down. I say crash down and return to this village empty-handed like me. And when he returns, I want to wipe his entire family out. Starting from him, his wife, and his daughter. <clears throat> Vengeance. You seek. Vengeance. But bear it in mind that when the wound is set, gathers the fire wood on its head, it carries it. Hmm. <laughs> 
That was how marketing gave me the ultimate power. What? He gave me the ultimate power to be strong and eliminate anybody who stands on my way. Why me? So I killed. Hey! I killed Razi. Hey! I killed Emeka. And I killed Alozi and his wife. Hey! I killed so many. Hey! How can you be sad Because at one point or the other, they all stood on my way. Hey! Oh, no, to kill them. My best task was to kill my nephew Kevin and his family. Jesus. Hey! The one that broke the camel's back was when we set fire to kill and destroy Kelvin's daughter, Jesse. Jesse. Jesse, Kelvin's daughter. Oh, Jesse, Kelvin. But we did not know that Jesse was a covenant child mm -hmm. that nobody could ever destroy. We set fire. We set fire to kill her. The fire that we sent bounced back. The <laughs> fire came. <laughs> It bounced back and yes, killed Bucket mm. and destroyed his shrine. Mm. It was that same fire that kept pursuing me, pursued me to this point to confess to you. I can't believe he did all this. It's hard to believe that he did all this. Hey, now tell me. What did you gain from all this atrocities now? What did you gain? Answer. God. Oh God. I said, what shall it profit a man to gain this whole world and lose his soul? Oh, well, nothing. May God forgive your soul. <laughs> May God forgive your soul. I have this man. Listen. 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 Forgiveness has nothing to do. Anything here, one, nothing. One, you must not but live to suffer for your evil deeds. Why, 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 what are the Avengers? What are the Avengers? What are the Avengers? What are the Avengers? The Son of the Most High God. Let thy will be done. God. This man does not set for darkness. Who would forgive you? Without my teeth. You don't deserve to wear this cap. Are you blind or for You. No good. Nah. Nah. No gem for. No kids, my yeah. No your jolly boots. You must die. 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 You must die.
Do you see how you have ended up better dead than alive? Even death has run away from you because you are a disgrace to human race. We are only here to see if you are dead, so that we can arrange the youth to cast your useless corpse to the evil forest where wild animals like you belong. So that vultures and other things we feed on your flesh. Shame on you. How I wish other evil men in the world are watching this and learning from it. Because this is a very deserved punishment for all evil doers. <coughs> evil men do live with them. <coughs> Let's go!